I don't know what Tabata is cooking, but I'm sure as hell loving it. This guy feels like he is truly is Black Clover's final villain. And I gotta say, gotta give props to Tabata. It's a good change of pace that sometimes we have mediocre villains, sometimes we have good villains, sometimes we have bad villains. But Lucius feels like the whole package, he is great all around in only two chapters. But before we begin, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to be notified whenever I upload a video. Now, obviously, Black Clover isn't the only thing I do. I do do sometimes My Academia, and maybe I'm going to do some of Jujutsu Kaisen pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. Also, we don't know Lucius' full backstory, but with this monologue saying, he's always thought, who were we? What were we supposed to achieve? Obviously, this is a parallel to Julius's whole monologue to Patri, basically saying who was he and what he was supposed to achieve, and he had a strange potential where he was born with two souls in his body, same as Patri and William. Now, obviously, there was a stir yesterday with the French translation because they thought that Lucius might get portrayed by Osteroth, and it would be the same Black Zetsu situation or the Patri and Zagred situation. But it looks like it's not going to happen because it looks like Ostroth is bound to the Zagreya siblings. Now, Lucius' whole plan to bring everyone back in undying bodies and basically rule over them, it seems like a just cause. It seems like a good motivation for him to make everyone equal and peaceful. No status, no nothing. But the reason why I'm saying this is because Lucius has seen it all. Whether it be the stuff that happened in the Clover Kingdom, like the royals, the nobles, discrimination, then people not treating the peasants with respect, and what happened to Asta, or whether it be stuff that happened to Zenon, with Zenon basically being mistreated because of his bone magic. Now, obviously, we don't know that all the Dark Tribe went through this, but it's most likely that they did, because, again, Vonica has blood magic. Dante always said he wasn't very really fond of his body magic, and Zenon was bullied for his bone magic. Imagine how they bullied those two. So Lucius has saw that as well. And that probably hurt him deep down because those are his siblings, but they're getting discriminated against because of their magic type. Julius obviously wants to help and stop in discrimination and wants to change the world for a better where even peasants and other races can come together. While Lucius is more radical, he's more radical to take the approach of killing everyone and bring them back in undying bodies where they can truly be happy. Lucius will manipulate things behind the scenes as long as it goes to his outcome. For example, the 50% Lucifero fight versus everyone. That showed a lot of time manipulation and in the extra pages of last chapter it is confirmed that lucius was working behind the scenes in the spade arc obviously lucius doesn't hate humans he doesn't underestimate them he knows their power he knows their strength hell he's one himself but he also knows that they are flawed that they need saving and that he's the only one that could possibly save them from the sick sad world now obviously this seems bad because what well, his intentions are good but where he's going for it is bad and that's supposed to be the case. He's a villain. His ideals juxtapose Asta. Asta wants to create a world where everyone can be happy, including other races, while Lucius wants to take the radical approach in eliminating them all. Obviously, Asta doesn't think that Lucius is the Wizard King. He may look like him, but his key feels different. Obviously, Asta can sense key, less like Yami, how Yami was able to sense that Patri and William's key were completely different. Now, obviously, Lucius is able to stop time for everyone else except Asta, because Asta's antimatic defies natural laws and logic. Now, I have seen people say that Lucius attacking early doesn't really make any sense, but I think it makes perfect sense. Lucius can see the future. He can predict what's going on. And I wouldn't be surprised that's what made him go insane, because he saw a world where he can truly be at peace, and where people can actually smile, and, you know, be together, and be equal. Obviously, he'd strive for that peace, but he also saw a future where Asta is the one flaw. I'll get into that later. But obviously, I don't think Lucius attacking this early isn't bad. It's not bad in the slightest. I think it's great. It just shows how much of a menace Lucius is. And Lucius is doing this in his base form. And don't forget, he has Lucifero's 50% heart. Well, two of them, so it makes it 100%. Now, let's do some quick power scaling here. True Devil Union Asta was able to beat Lucifero in 9 or 5 seconds with pretty mid-difficulty. But Lucius was able to beat Lucifero before the time skip with easy difficulty in his base form. Now, stack that up with 250% Lucifero's hearts, Lucifero was stated to destroy everything on this planet. And I wouldn't be surprised if Lucius could be planetary. Yes, planetary Black Clover is coming. And Lucius most likely has a devil transformation just like Xenon, Vonica, and Dante. Not like the, you know, devil heart Xenon, but probably a devil percentage. But we could say that he possibly has double union with Ostaroth, because he most likely beat him in a Ritual of the Servant. Combine that with Lucifero's gravity magic, Ostaroth's time magic, and whatever magic Lucius has, this is a formidable opponent that Asta needs to beat. Now, Lucius considers himself a savior of this world, and tells Asta that Julius is now dead. Well, I don't think he's 
theoretically dead. I just think that he could just never wake up and take possession of Lucius ever again. And it's confirmed that Julius's main purpose was to set out seeing sadness, discrimination, and hatred for the sake of their ideals, which are the same, but go about it in very different ways. And this already makes Lucius a top 10 character in Black Clover. Obviously, he needs a bit more to be a top 10 villain or a good villain in Shonen Jump. I think he's already number one in Black Clover already. Lucius is obviously going to bring back his siblings, and this isn't the last we've seen in the Dark Triad, because we've been teased multiple times that they will be coming back in Undying Bodies. But for Zenon, that's very complicated, because he sold his soul to Beelzebub. Lucius plans to make them equal in every aspect, and then, to prevent further complications, he will rule over them as the final Wizard King. He's obviously not preferring to be the Wizard King of just the Clover Kingdom. He's planning to steal everyone's bitches. He's planning to rule over not only the Clover King, the Diamond Kingdom, the Spade, and the Heart Kingdom. That will make him the final Wizard King to bring true peace to everyone where everyone is equal and fair. But there's one flaw to his problem, Asta. Lucius tells Asta that no one in the world should be born without magic, and that's why you're the flaw. Because Lucius wants to make everyone fair. Would it be fair if Asta just getting discriminated against because he doesn't have magic? And would it be fair because Asta is the only one that has magic? They're all supposed to be equal. No one's supposed to be above anyone or be below anyone. It's equal. Now, obviously, I think Lucius is afraid. Not afraid of Asta, but afraid that he just can't tell Asta's future. It, because Lucius spent so much time telling the future and seeing the future of peace, He's scared, because he's scared of seeing that he can't read somebody else's future, and it probably gets him shaken up. Lucius wants to live forever. He doesn't want to die, because obviously he's been in a wheelchair for as long as we've known, and he probably fears death, and he probably doesn't want a future where he has to fear it ever again, and bringing everyone down to his level where everyone is finally equal. But if I'm being honest with you, no one in the world is truly equal. Asta is a great example for that. Asta didn't have magic, he didn't grow up with magic, and he was wronged by society that they lived in. Obviously, no one can be equal. That's the way the life is, and that's the way the world works. Lucius is trying to get away from that. He wants everyone to be equal and be a utopia, but this is more of a dictatorship for him, so no one can tell him otherwise. Who's to say that Lucius won't silence anyone who will try to speak against him? I think Austin's response is pretty funny to this because he basically just tells Lucius that you're just an imposter in Julius's body and who you calling a flaw. The Wizard King sacrificed everything to save everyone and you're just trying to destroy it all. So I'm going to beat you and save him. And if only Austin knew that it wasn't his time yet. Honestly, I love Lucius' wicked smile just basically telling Austin, I'm stronger than Julius, you know? And Austin says in that case, I will surpass the Wizard King here and now in his true Devil Union form. Anyone with a working brain cell would understand that Austin stands no chance against Lucius to gratis because Lucius again is in his base form. On top of that, he has gravity, he has time magic, and possibly his own magic attribute. Now, Austin could possibly put up a good fight, but I just don't see him winning, and I might make a video on why Austin is going to die soon. Oh, Julius' prediction on Asta could still come true because Lucius seems like he's ready to kill Asta and get rid of the flaw in the world. Now, obviously, anything could happen. This is Tabata's story. I don't really care what he does as long as it's executed well. And me personally, I think this is it for Asta. Someone play the trumpets. This man's going to die. But tell me what you guys think. Do you think Asta is going to die? Do you think Lucius is Black Clover's best villain right now and will become Black Clover's best villain? Or do you think nothing's going to happen? That's pretty lame, but we have a two-week break, so at least start thinking about that. Now, obviously, comment down below what was your favorite part of this chapter, and obviously, comment down below what is Lucius' end goal. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, it's been The Red Cloak, and I'm going to see you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>